welcome to Dance Buzz TV. This show is about getting up close and personal with the artists and the industry, bringing you current trends, fashion, health, gossip, and news from around the world. Join me, Karen Hardy, as we go behind the scenes with Dance Buzz TV. News of the split of professionals Kirill Belarukov and Polina Teleshova and amateur Salvo Sinadi and Victoria Karchenko came as a shock back in May of this year. After speculations on social media, however, we can now confirm that Kirill is with new partner Victoria Karchenko. Polina Teleshova is keeping herself in great shape and DanceBuzz TV can confirm she too already has a new partner and we'll be letting you know who that is as soon as possible. And finally, we understand Salvo Sinadi is currently having tryouts for a new partner, but as yet is keeping the news of who it is close to his chest. We interviewed Jay Park, president of the Korean Dance Council and organizer of the prestigious Asia International Championships. Did I see you taking to the high streets of Seoul did I see you dancing in the street? <laughs> Tell me more, please. Okay, I mean, I can't remember which day, actually, because every day I was being teaching in studio. But I mean, you know, just like 10 seconds, one of the, my students, let's go for something show in the street. I said, really? Okay, let's do it. It wasn't planned, actually. But I mean, thing is, I was thinking about my mind. I mean, you know, what could be I can help for people to happiness? Because... That moment was like people was really down feeling, you know, people was really care about the, all the healthy things, the coronavirus, you know. Okay, let's do that. This idea will be really great. So that's why we're starting. But I mean, until now, I mean, you know, I'm thinking how could be I can make the people happy? Thank you, Jay Park. Great catching up. This episode, we caught up with the legendary Mr. Len Goodman, TV's favorite head judge. Len, I obviously, we've had the news that Strictly Come Dancing in the UK is back. Strictly Come Dancing in Britain is the number one show. Everyone looks forward to it. It's uplifting. It, 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 it's a show. And that's why I'm so hopeful that this um, pandemic will be over because it's a show where the grandparents can sit with their grandchildren and thoroughly embrace it. Obviously, maybe not the, the, the format that we're used to. Maybe there will, will be limited audience. I understand that maybe the judges will have a, a screen between them and, and so on. And I think uh, all the couples will have to be uh, living together. Listen, don't take any of this as gospel, but that's what I have been given to understand, but not from anyone from the BBC, just from Craig and Boone. And what do they know? Well, so. Uh, <laughs> Have you ever had a celebrity crush that you'd love to dance with? Anton Dubeck. <laughs> He's such a character. I love him so much. He's a, and I'm envious of him. He's a great golfer, plays off about five. He's a great dancer, got a wonderful personality. I love old Anton. He's great. All right, so I'm going to finish here. Is there any uplifting message that you could share? With what I would say to, to anyone in our dance profession, how lucky are we? We are involved in a business that we would have done just as a hobby. And, you know, my dad used to say, work is anything you don't want to do. Well, I wanted to do this, so I've never, since I was 21, I've never worked, really. I've just had a wonderful, wonderful life. And now to one of my favorite sections of the show, it's Stars in the Spotlight. In this section, we spotlight our favorite stars and go in depth with them on and off the dance floor. The feeling of stepping out in front of the studio audience on Street Come Dancing, it's, it's really hard to understand the, uh, the gravity of the whole thing. It, it's it's a cultural institution, the show in UK, and you can feel it as soon as you walk onto that floor, that people just gasp, oh my goodness, there's that 
that's the new professional that is going to be gracing the floor. And it's actually sort of, that's how it's perceived. It's incredible. I, I felt that I've been nervous on, on dance competitions, like in Blackpools or, or internationals or, or wherever. But but doing doing a TV show live, it's a completely different ballgame. Yeah, TV has always been my kind of go-to world and incorporating dance into the television world. It's just kind of how I've done it always. I think it's very hard to pick a greatest moment because I, number one, I'm very fortunate to do Strictly From Dancing with my husband and someone that I love. And we've shared so many beautiful moments on the show together as husband and wife. And uh, sometimes even have to pinch ourselves that we get to do this together. We've got an opportunity to, to, to dance with the likes of Andrea Bocelli. Oh. With, uh, with, I mean, so many. There's, I can't, I can't even, Ed Sheeran. Uh, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Yeah, I almost started there, actually. Imagine if I started on, on Taylor Swift. <laughs> we are so lucky. We are so lucky from that phone call onwards when we got when, when we found out that we're going to be on Strictly Come Dancing, our lives really did change, pro, pro, professionally especially. Hello, Dance Boss TV! Oh, uh, I love dancing, I love buzzing, and I love TV. There you go, the best of all three. Yeah, Mwah. Yeah. And closing this section today, we bring you our top five glam moments with the beautiful Valeria Dragovic. At five, there's no netting around. At four, we love your love dress. At three, it's lipstick and lollipops of luxury. At two, she's holding nothing back. And at one, we celebrate this daring outfit capturing class and couture. So now we go to Creative Corner. Celebrating the multi-talented Espen Salberg who, with his wealth of titles, successful coaching, and conception for some of the finest fashion in dance, he is considered by many to be a genius. They do say that the influence has come a lot from your parents or close influential people around you. So I, it sounds like definitely from your father. I would say especially from my dad. Yes, yes, yes. And he, in his own sense, apart from... He was very creative, but he was at the time also competing in world championships and stuff for, for hairstyles. As a youth dancer, we were asked to join with my first partner yeah. to join the national team, sort of representing Norway. But it was back in 1974, I think that I um, represented Norway for the first time with Shiston. I like traveling, but I had, there wasn't a thing that I, I do this because that will make me have the chance to travel the world. Yeah. No, there was more that I just was hooked on dancing, basically. It's, I mean, as a kid, we grew up having to dance both sections. I always loved the Latin, but I admired the ballroom. Share with us the feeling of winning a first title at Blackpool. Unbelievable. Norway had never, ever been on the scene. People had danced, but nobody had ever been on the scene. So being then the first ever, not only British champion, but world amateur champion um, was something that, yeah, it was only a dream come true. What made you and Sherston so unique? I loved always designing her dresses. I uh, did different things with her hair and it was an artistic inspiration for me that the image of her was was very important and then i from as long as i can remember i always did our choreography and now for the health and technique segment of the show today we focus on the technical aspect of dance as we analyze footage with former latin world champion carmen here we have peter daskolov and zia james representing Great Britain. Starting off this 
energetic cha-cha-cha with a New York section showing different syncopated foot timings and variations of body rhythms. Following with the continuous lock steps, please have a look at Peter's attention to detail on his skill of lead, making sure his body rhythm doesn't interfere with Zia's use of the action. Now, furthering on in the dance, they are doing another basic step, the rolling of the arms, beautifully done in the timing of the music, and finishing off this segment of their cha-cha-cha with a syncopated time steps. Well done to one of the top couples of the amateur section in the Latin American dancers, Peter and Zia. Thank you, Carmen, for sharing your wealth of knowledge. As a way to keep dance fit, Sam Shamseli of Denmark believes his intense spinning workouts are the answer. We'd love to know what regimes you use to keep in shape. Feel free to share with us your secrets. Next up, we go to Hidden Gems. And welcome to Hidden Gems. And today's focus is on South African Ryan Hammond, winner of Strictly Come Dancing and undefeated South African champion. With Ryan, there's more to him than meets the eye, from a black tie to a black member snake. Hello everybody, I'm Ryan, this is my beautiful wife Angelique, and we are professional dancers. However, we have a huge passion for wildlife. Working closely with a number of successful charities, he's a wildlife conservationist guide and qualified ranger. This is a family that like to take a walk on the wild side. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the show. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Now look, I don't do this all the time. You are a 10 from <laughs> Lenny. And most importantly, to all lovers of dance, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.